day, Survival South Texas, Tim Taylor. Uh, today we're going to be doing cordage in the wild. Um, I'm going to use a young plant, uh, any fibrous uh, type plant will do. Uh, for ease of demonstration, I'm going to use yucca. It's one of the easiest to work with. Leaves here, so you want to cut them down close to the base. about uh, two feet long or so. Uh, okay, so let's go get busy. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. Uh, we've got our yucca leaf. Uh, for ease of demonstration, we are going to use this bit of cinder block here and this hammer. Now, out in the wild, uh, I've used uh, you know, a foot and a half section of log and uh, another log to, to separate the fibers up against. Um, but we're going to do it this way today. So what you want to do with your knife, you want to start out by separating these fibers. Okay? And it's just, you want to take some, some elbow grease to do that. So that is a very good start. Okay? I'm back. I've trimmed it down a little bit uh, just for demonstration purposes. Um, Here's where we are with separating our fibers out. You want to pull off any of the dead stuff, you know, the real dry, brittle pieces of it. Uh, there's usually going to be some there. So you can just pull those off, strip them off, and uh, you're good to go. What you want to do now is you want to take about a quarter inch of it and peel it away, just like that. Okay? Hold your left hand stationary. Twirl the strands in one direction until they're tight, like that, okay? Then, you want to take it about a third of the way from your left hand, put it in your mouth, like so, and then just kind of let it twist around itself, okay? You can twist it. See, we've already got a very good start uh, on our cordage. Now, it's very important for you to understand to leave yourself about an inch and a half, two inches on the short end because that's where our splice is going to be for our next uh, weave, okay, or, or twist. So let's get another piece, get them about the same thickness each time, about a quarter of an inch or so. Take this, separate it out, put your fingers down through like this to get your fibers separated out if you need to, a little further, and you want to do that all the way down so that it's not still joined together on the ends. It's easier to do this when this stuff's wet too, by the way, so using green lucky yucca leaves is the way to go. If all you've got is dried ones, you can still work with it, you just got to soak them in water. Um, now, splice these things together like so. It's real easy. You just take and you shove them in together like this. Okay, now, from here, you take, you put this thing in your mouth, the loop that you, you had left over from last time, you're going to twist both sides in the same direction. Okay, so you're going to twist them together in the same direction. You got to make sure your splice holds together while you do that. That's the, the really fun part. Um, here you go, you got those together. Okay, now let's do this. Twist, twist both strands counterclockwise and around each other. Awesome. I'll try that. 
try to get a little closer and show you. Okay. Just like that. Okay. I'm just going to give you a good... Don't worry about all these stray strands. We'll clean those up here in a little bit. Okay. Now, time for another splice. So, once again, we'll take a quarter inch of material off and we'll separate these fibers out. We're going to do it, you know, both ends so that it goes all the way through so you've got loose fibers. Remember, you can do this with any fibrous plant, cattail leaves, um, you know, there's just a lot out there, all kinds of, you know, wild reeds, grasses. I have found personally, you know, I've tried out lots of different plant materials, i found personally that the uh, yucca plant and its relatives are the, the best to do this with. And you can make this any thickness you want. Uh, I'm doing it, you know, really thick here. The more splice you've got, you know, the more length in your splice, the stronger it's going to be. So, you know, anywhere from an inch and a half to three inches is good. And this is uh, really great when you're making uh, traps and snares. You know, as much as you can, you want to use natural materials. And you can easily, quickly make you know, the lashings, once you get some practice with this, it goes very, very, very fast. Trim off some of these little strays here. And you just going to trim some of those off. Trim it off a little bit. Here, you know, it's making shelter or whatever with it. Okay, now. It's just a demonstration of how strong this stuff is. Okay, I'm pulling really tight on this. Okay, uh, very strong, um, and I've made this, I've probably made at one time 50 feet of this stuff just to use around camp. Um, but thanks for joining me, uh, that's how you make homemade cordage.